Okay, my name's Todd Howard. I'm from Irving, Texas. It's, I was, grew up in Dallas-Fort Worth area. I had been living in San Francisco, had been out of the closet for, God, maybe three years, I think, uh, because I arrived there in 93. And there was somebody that I met through the course of my visits back to Texas. And her name was Laramie, Laramie Bernie. We ended up getting married because I had, with all my relationships with males in San Francisco, sort of fallen short. And what was confirmed in me, having had that relationship, that bond with um, a woman, was that I was, in fact, very much torn against myself with regard to what my true desires were, and that was to be ultimately with another male in a relationship, long term. And so while I never did any exploring in that relationship, um, save for the end, but um, what was important is that I ended up going to and engaging in therapy, and what my, my therapist pointed out, that she was not surprised that I would have gotten married to a woman after having, you know, explored um, alternative avenues and paths with, with males. And I looked at her quizzically when she first said that, and I said, but, you know, how is that possible? And she says, well, think about it. Everything that you watch, everything that you hear, is about a boy and a girl. It's not about a girl and a girl. It's not about a boy and a boy. You've never heard anything of, you know, a male-to-male -male relationship through the course of your formative years. So why is it... Why is it surprising to you that you would want to end up with a, with a woman and that you would want to marry a woman? That's what society tells you you're supposed to do. And it works, and she said, it works very much against the grain of your very, um, your core fabric. It, it was on Valentine's Day in 2000. I, I reached a point after having a, had a long discussion about a month prior to that with a very good friend, Dan Carlson, and he said, you know, something's been eating at you for a long time. And I said, well, I've been fighting something. He said, what have you been fighting? I said, my own sexuality. He said, I'm married to a woman, great as she is and supportive as she is. There's just something that is not right about, you know, me being with her. And I said, ultimately, Dan, what it comes down to is that I can't be happy in this relationship, and because of that, she's never going to be happy in this relationship. And so that's, I have to end it. I transitioned because I, I did feel that, you know, there was a burden and there was a responsibility on my own part to make this easy on Laramie as, as much as I could. And, you know, there was a final moment where, you know, there, there was a question that I posed to her, and that was, is there anything, is there any way in your heart or your own psychology in your mind that would allow me to have both worlds in the confines of this, of this marriage? And she said, no. That answers the question then. Because there's, some, some, there's a need that's not being met and I have to meet that need. And it's only going to draw energy away from my relationship with you and, you know, as I put it to you before, both of us will end up miserable. So, so that was a that was a gradual process, but that one moment set us on the course to exit the relationship. 